Good afternoon, boys and girls. And today for our sixth grade life science lesson, we are covering the standard from L6 1.5, provide evidence that organisms are unicellular or multicellular. Welcome to my virtual classroom. So what is the difference between unicellular and multicellular? And that's one of the things that we need to quickly identify. All right, organisms are either single cell, that's what unicellular means, they're made up of one single cell, and that one cell provides and does a complete life cycle all on its own. It doesn't need any other cells to work with it. And then there are multicellular organisms, which are what all animals and people and plants, all the life forms that you can see are multicellular and they're made up of many cells. That's what the multi means, it means many. So unicellular organisms are made up of only one types of cell that carry out the functions that are needed by that organism, while multicellular organisms use many different cells to function. So if you look at the two graphics I have, these are single-celled organisms, and they can survive all on their own, completely independent, and within that one teeny tiny cell, it does all of its life functions. Um, and these are really small. You cannot see these with just your eyes alone. You have to use a microscope. So these are referred to as microorganisms because they're so tiny. And then if you look at the picture that I used of the baby, um, you can see that the human is made up of lots of different kinds of cells and they all have different functions, but they depend on each other to function properly for the survival of that species. All right, so let's talk about a couple of the differences between single-celled organisms and multicellular organisms. So number one, in a single-celled organism, they do not need a, ma a designated male or a designated female cell to reproduce. They are able to divide and the offspring are genetically identical to the parents. Um, so that's point number two. And they either um, <coughs> reproduce by dividing or by budding. Either way, you don't have to have um, parents, like two parents, to reproduce and have offspring. It can all be done within that one single cell. Multicellular organisms, on the other hand, need a male sperm or, well, and a female egg in order for reproduction to take place. The offspring are genetically different from the individual parents. However, they are genetically similar to both parents, and they reproduce by giving birth or they reproduce by laying eggs. So in order to really tell if an organism is multicellular or single cells, um, you have to use a microscope. Now, I say that except for any large animal that you can see with your eyes is definitely multicellular. All the plant life that you see, all the animals, all the humans, those are all multicellular. Um, however, if you're looking at a small sample there can be teeny tiny multicellular organisms and then all of our single celled organisms or unicellular are microscopic. So you're gonna have to use something like what I have pictured here, a microscope in order to see those. So that is the, the major differences between whether or not an organism is a single celled organism or a multicellular organism. Bye, see you guys next time.